Hey everybody, this is Mandy with Learn Math With Me, and right now I want to go over a few tips for you that are smart moves to make the night before you take the ACT. Now, of course, I say the night before, but it would be a good idea to start working on any of these tips just as soon as possible. But I've got five tips for you, and the first tip has to do with strategy. And when we're talking about strategy, we're talking about on the ACT, you need to make sure you put an answer for every question. Even if you're not sure what the answer is, mark one of the answers. And that comes to the next part of the strategy that has to do with guessing. If you don't know an answer, guess. And I even recommend having a guess answer that you've decided on ahead of time. And that's so you're not spending a lot of time sitting there looking at the question and say, I'm going to guess B. Well, if you already know ahead of time that you're always going to have a guess answer of the second one, if that's B, then you're going to choose B. You mark it and you move on. And you go to another question that hopefully you'll have time to work on. Also, along with that, make sure that you know how to mark any of your questions that uh, remind you to come back and look at later if you have time. For sure, you want to have an answer for it, but maybe it's an answer if you just had a little bit longer you could work on, but you don't want to use up all your time right then, but if you can mark it and know that you can come back to it later. Tip number two has to do with formulas. I have a free formula sheet on my website if you'll go to learnmathwithme.com and you can sign up to get a copy of this formula sheet. Now here's how I would use the formula sheet. I would review it, take a look at it, make sure that you're comfortable with all the formulas that are on there, maybe work a few example problems, but the biggest thing is don't get stressed out about it. It's a formula sheet that you can use as a review tool. The third tip is to have everything ready. Now what I mean by that, you're going to need a calculator for the ACT and you need to go out to the ACT website, make sure that your calculator is approved by them, have your calculator ready, have your pencils ready, sharpened with erasers, and put them all in one spot so that the next morning you get up, your stuff's right there, you grab it and you go. That leads us into tip number four know what time you need to be at the test center and where you need to be. Once the test begins and the doors are shut, they will not let anyone else in. I have had a student that missed the test. They thought the time was maybe an hour later than when they were actually supposed to be there. They got up, showed up, doors were shut, they were not let in. So if you're going to put the time in and the money in to take the test, be there on time and know where you're supposed to be. The fifth tip is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. That sounds so simple, but sometimes it's hard to get in bed uh, on a Friday night, but you need to get your sleep. Your brain needs the rest for concentration and focus for problem solving, and that's what you're doing. You know it's hard to make decisions sometimes when you're tired, so we want to have a good night's sleep so that you can do your very best on the test. And if you're used to eating breakfast, make sure you eat a breakfast that morning um, or eat a snack, something like that. Uh, you're going to be in that test all morning long and you don't want to be thinking about food and being hungry. You want to be taking your test and doing your best. So finally, I would just recommend that you go out to my website, learnmathwithme.com. I've got a lot of videos that show you how to work problems that are just like what you'll see on the ACT and some other helpful hints. So I encourage you to go out there, check it out. Just do your best. Don't stress. And I wish you the best of luck.